What's up, people? What's up? Thank you guys for tapping in. 100 Years of Wealth, StreamHomeLoan.com. This is Kenneth. Just wanted to make a quick video and I want to get back on my consistent content tip. I've been doing a bunch of stuff and a lot of times I just don't take the time to actually videotape it just because I'm, I'm moving and to be real honest with you, a lot of times the content isn't the most important thing in, on my mind even though I do want to stay consistent and I think I, I bring value. So this video is titled something about bringing value to your house and how to do that through finishing a basement space, right? So this space was somewhat unusable. It was basically like a wood shop that wasn't really that functional. So it ended up turning into just storage. So all I want to point out really quickly was that, you know, I, I'm actually doing the work myself. I got quotes of probably somewhere around five, $6,000 to put drywall throughout. Let me see if I can get a better... Uh, to put drywall throughout, to um, run the electrical. This is a pretty small space, but because I kind of had a little extra time and I wasn't really in a rush to do the project and I wanted to learn how to do this myself, I'm like, you know what? I'll do it myself and, um, and I'll save the money for one, but more importantly, I'll learn how to do this so for future projects and things I plan on doing, I'll be able to handle it myself. So what I did was I built wood framing all around from, from basically this corner, this corner right here, uh, right there, that corner all the way around to that corner. And then on the other side, I'm actually gonna plaster and smooth out areas that need to be you know smoothed out like this, get everything super, super even. And then I'm just gonna paint this side or put some sort of texture on it. But, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a project that uh, is, you know, it's going to take me a few months overall because I'm touch and go. I'm doing a little something here, then doing a little something here. But overall, um, it's not like crazy time consuming and it's just a few layers of project. So it's like first step in the project was removal of all the wood, um, the wood shop, you know, stuff that was here, very old uh wood framing all around so i had to remove all that that was the demo portion i did that myself and then i had some guys come and uh remove it paid a few hundred bucks there and then i built the wood frame that this drywall is attached to so built the wood frame all the way around built the wood frame all the way around and then i put up the drywall after i Put, or sorry, before I put up the drywall, I ran the electrical, and then I had an electrician come through and confirm that it was actually all hooked up correctly, um, and told me a couple of places that I needed to make some corrections so that everything was legit and, and up to code. Um, so I did that. After the electrical was cool and I tested multiple times and haven't had any issues at all, threw up the uh, drywall. Threw up the drywall myself. Had actually my stepdad come through and help me out. And then one thing that I feel like a lot of people are very scared to do after they do drywall, because drywall is pretty easy if you can, you know, measure decently, um, which anyone can. Um, once you're able to measure and get the drywall up correctly, and it's one of those things that if you make a mistake, it's not that big of a deal and it's not that expensive because a drywall piece from like, I would say four, what, a four, eight, four by eight, right? Um, and this is this is a piece of that drywall. This is a piece of a four by eight drywall, and this is five eighths, so it's super thick. It's like the thicker version or the thicker drywall, and it's mold resistant. So, the thicker mold resistant drywall, it only costs about twenty bucks a sheet. So if you make a mistake, it's not the craziest expense. It is annoying to have to bring these home unless you have a truck, which a lot of you know, DIYers may, you may not already have like a truck. You may just be a normal person or an I'll say normal person. You might be a person, just a normal car and you got to figure out how to get these sheets here. That was all, that was a little bit of a headache, but usually you could, there's some guys hanging out that do hauling at the, um, at the, uh, Home Depot. They're usually there. Or sometimes you can just find a guy that's willing to take 30, 40 bucks and take your stuff around the corner to you. Like I was able to do a couple of times. Um, so did the, put the drywall up. All those little, little marks are places where I threw a little um, uh, mud on top of uh, on top of screws where the holes for the screw were. And so, like I was saying, a lot of 
a lot of um, people are getting nervous around doing this stuff, the mud and the taping, because, you know, at first, if you haven't done it before, it definitely is, does take a little bit of skill, but it's not hard to do and hard to figure out. And even if you mess up a couple of times, yes, it'll be annoying. It'll probably be a little messy, but you can correct and figure it out. What a lot of people do is they get nervous and they just don't ever try and they just say, oh, I don't want to even mess up and I don't even want to do it. For me, I'm like, okay, I felt the same way, but then once I tried it, after watching a bunch of videos, I'm like, okay, I got it. I, I got it for the most part, even the things I'm, I'm gonna correct. Like over here, you can see a little unevenness. All you have to do if there's like a bubble under there, and I don't even think there's a bubble under here. I think that it's just like, um, maybe it was kind of too much uh, mud right here, because it's not like going down. But if there was a bubble, you can just cut that out and then re-tape over it, you know? Um, so it's not the end of the world. In worst case, you can even just take this off, smooth it down back to the drywall, and then redo it. It's not it's not that crazy, and it's not like an expensive fix. Um, but the main thing you want to do is when you put your tape on, make sure the tape is nice and wet, um, or the uh, the mud that you're laying it on has some uh, moisture there, so that it actually sticks and applies and lays flat, and um, and then you're good to go. So any any professional out there looking at this video is probably saying like, this is a very sloppy job. But this isn't a professional job. This is at my crib, it's at my house, I'm doing it myself. And I know it basically creates a little extra work when, you, when you're when you not as efficient with the um, with the, uh, the mud because then you have to sand extra, you know? So it's like certain areas you could see, I was doing these second, third round where I started to figure it out a little better and have a little bit more of a, a smoother application. Um, but overall, it's not that big of a space, so all I'm going to do is once I go through, finish up touching up a little areas that I want to, um, then I'm going to start sanding it all. But I think what I'm going to do is before I start sanding the walls, I'm also going to do my ceiling so that I can just have a mask on and just sand the whole thing all in like a couple of days, you know, just do, do all the parts that need to be sent at the same time. So, you know, I'm going to take down this... Uh, ceiling lights because I'm going to put some cool little fans in here but everything's going to start to come together and really look smooth and um, and put together um, one by one but just wanted to show you this um, because it's not that hard to clean up your own like basement space and add a big value to your home not that we plan on selling or anything like that but if you were to get an appraisal done an appraiser comes in and he sees a space that could be used as a bedroom or just like an additional living space you know, I don't, I don't know exactly, depending on where you're at, what that's going to give you as far as value to your appraisal. But as humans, we value stuff like that, right? So the appraiser immediately is going to, he's a human, she's a human, um, they are human. They're going to say, um, you know what, that room could be used for additional, you know, things. It could be an Airbnb space. It could be a family member. It could be a grand, grandma loft or whatever they call it. Um, so... But besides that, for us, it's gonna be like an art space. We're gonna set it up real nice. We can come down here, get creative. I got a bunch of stuff over in this little room. Um, silk screen machine, paintings, things like that. Um, so, one love, like and subscribe, 100 years of wealth. I'm back, I'm going strong, I ain't stopping. If you with me, you with me. If you ain't rocking with me, you ain't rocking with me. Like and subscribe. But hey, look, 100 years of wealth and streamhomeloan.com not stopping you know we keep it going we keep it growing look cheers to the new year i hope you guys are doing well health wealth and happiness